Hey, what's up Reapers? Ken Colby, High Tide Aquatics, Oakland, California. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick little video on my daily prep to get the food prepared to feed all the fish in the store. So we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna show you what I got here as far as frozen foods and what I'm gonna file. So I like the Rod's food. It has a huge variety. Same with Larry's Fish Frenzy and the PE Mysis because which fish doesn't love Mysis? So I'm just gonna take some fat chunks of this stuff out of here. And then I Fill this with a mixture of RO and salt water. And then that's going to sit in there for about 20 minutes and thaw out. All right, so we got the foods all thawed out here um, and we're ready to drain them. So if your nutrients in your tank are really low. You don't have to rinse these. Um, but if you run elevated nutrients or you're worried about your phosphate and nitrate levels, you know, rinsing it's a good idea. Otherwise, if you have low nutrients, you know, this will help raise them up a little bit. Usually I will do this in the sink, but for the video purpose, I'm just doing them in this plastic bin. So I will rinse these guys with that RO and salt water mix. Just kind of rinse some of that excess stuff off of there. Let those drain pretty good. And all this will go back into the container. And then I will start adding all the other stuff. So now I got this thought out, rinsed off food mix mixed up. Now I'm gonna add some dry foods to it. So in here I have a mixture of some flakes. It's formula one and formula two from Ocean Nutrition. And then I have a bunch of nori sheets that I uh, chop up myself, and kind of mix it in there. So I'll just put a couple pinches of that. And then I'll add some pellets. And once again, this is a little combo blend of about five different pellets. There is Reef Nutrition's TDO pellets, uh, New Life Spectrum Thera Plus, and New Life Spectrum Probiotics. And then I also use the Formula One and Formula Two from Ocean Nutrition because of the brewer's yeast properties in them. So now I will add a little bit of that water mix to there. Stir that up a little bit. And then I'll add some vitamins. So I use the Captivate Aquaculture, the Reef Blueprint line, the Nemo Plus Plus. It's a good blend of vitamins and fatty acids. This also has garlic, same with the Celcon. And I put a couple squirts of Celcon in there. Give these fishes a lot of uh, good nutrition in their foods and build up their immune system so they could just be as healthy as they could be and thrive on. And now we'll let that soak in there for about 15 minutes. All right, so I got this nice and soaked in and it's ready to be rinsed. So once again, I'm gonna rinse this off. With RO and salt mix. You don't want these vitamins going back to your system because they will lower your lower P levels. 
so I just try to get as much off as I can. You can see how murky and cloudy that water is. Rather be here than in the tank. All right, gonna put this back in. Fill this up with the RO and saltwater bits. And now we're ready to feed. So first I'm gonna do these guys. I'll just show you my two displays. This tank only has 13 fish in it. All right, now I'm gonna get these guys. As you can see, they're all patiently waiting. This tank has 35 fish in it, so they're gonna get a lot. So this food mix, uh, I feed them twice a day with it, sometimes three times a day. The displays get them three times a day because these guys are always hungry. Um, I am kind of anal, so I prepare this food mix every morning and it gets me through the day, feeding all the fish in the store. And that's the end of the video. I'm gonna go feed some more fish. So see you guys later.